Marissa Alexander is a survivor of domestic violence from Jacksonville, Florida. Nine days after giving birth to a premature child, she was confronted and threatened by her abusive estranged husband. In self-defense, she fired a single warning shot upwards into the ceiling to ward him off. She was arrested, jailed, prosecuted, and convicted of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon by a jury after only 12 minutes of deliberation. Prosecutors asked that she be sentenced under Florida's 1020 law, which meant that she would serve a 20-year mandatory minimum sentence. More people around the country began to organize around Marissa's case and demand her freedom when her story became known after George Zimmerman killed Trayvon Martin and wanted to invoke a stand-your-ground defense that was denied to Marissa. Her supporters helped publicize her case, held protests and events, raised funds for her legal defense, and supported her through her probation. Her case brought attention to the criminalization of domestic violence survivors who fight back against abusers. Grassroots organizing and good legal defense led to Marissa's case being overturned on a technicality. State's attorney Angela Quarry decided to retry her case and threatened Marissa with 60 years in prison for defending her life. In November 2014, Marissa accepted a plea deal for time served, plus 65 more days in jail and two years of probation under house arrest. Marissa Alexander was finally released on January 27, 2017. She has founded the Marissa Alexander Project to advocate for other survivors of violence who are criminalized for survival. Many people like Marissa Alexander are in prisons all over the United States doing time for defending themselves and for surviving. Learn more about how you can support other campaigns for freedom and justice at the Survive and Punish website.